everybody, welcome your faces back to another Rolling Lines video. Today, I've actually found a secret room within Rolling Lines. So, uh, if you guys wanna see where it is, uh, I guess watch the rest of the video. <laughs> okay, so I guess we should talk a little bit about this room. Now, I've just found it. It's inside the map. It's inside the normal map. You can just... Hover around and you can find it, but uh, basically what this room is, is it allows you to make your own room. You can do room length, room width, and room height if you want to. I don't know what the max is on all of these things, so let's go ahead and check it out. So as we start off, our room is 2 in length, 2 in height, and 2 in width. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to make it as long as we can, okay? And you guys will see what will happen in a second. So I believe this will be the corner. What? I didn't realize it would go this long. 50? 50? All the way down there, it, it's 50 long. Oh, but, I mean, if you did make it 50 long, uh, and you had a table all the way along the outside of this, that would actually be really cool, because then you could make, like, just a really long track, and it'd look really good. Uh, but then if you go to width, and you make it a little bit bigger, it'll go out that direction. And we can literally just have one massive room. Now, we do have a little bit of an issue with this, is I don't know how to actually add tables. Uh, like, if I press this, nothing really happens. Uh, but if I then do that again, nothing happens. Uh, so I don't know how to add custom tables. Um, but yeah, I thought the room was kind of cool. Uh, you can make it way longer. And you can actually make it really high. Which gives me an idea, actually. Um, in our normal map, we could actually build, like, a track around the top. And I think that would be really cool. Uh, if we go to room height as well, we can go really high if we wanted to. Uh, but we don't really need to. Um... But yeah, I thought I'd show you guys this room, because it's different, isn't it? I didn't realize it was a thing, and it is a thing. So yeah, let's move on to actually editing my track now, and uh, maybe we could come back to this in the future. I don't really know. I just found it, and I thought it was interesting. Okay, wham! We're back in the main room. Now, one of the things I see going round and round and round is this train over here. Now, this isn't even a, a Frantic Lines train, so we're going to have to get rid of it, you know? We're going to have to get rid of this train, and we're going to have to replace it with a Frantic Lines one, because... We have loads of Frantic Lines cars that are really different. Uh, and I think it would be really cool to add different ones. So let's go ahead and get rid of this actual, like, massive train. Go over here and find the Frantic Lines one. Um, which there is a diesel, which is here. Nope, it's not that one. <laughs> uh, we will find it. Hold on. Frantic Lines box car. Here's the, here's the box car. Alright, that looks really good. Uh, we'll go ahead and just add it to this track here because it's really straight. Uh, we'll have a bunch of them. Alright, we'll have, like, I don't know, three or four of them. Uh, let's go with... Uh, four. Is that four or is that five? That's five. All right, we got five of those. That's good. If we continue along a little bit more, we should be able to find some coal cars. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got coal cars. There's one, two, three, four, five. Yes, okay. Six. Let's go with six. Uh, if we go back here, what else can we find? Uh, it's a coach. We don't need coaches. Cargo. Now, this is one of the things that I haven't really tried. Uh, we got cargo. That's pretty cool. Okay, I like that. They're very strange looking, but sure, why not? Alright, cool. We'll have a bunch of these. Alright, there we go. Let's have like seven. Seven of these. We haven't even got a locomotive yet. But yeah, seven of those. Okay, if we continue along a little bit more. The frantic diesel. Here it is. Bam! We'll have one pushing uh, at the back. In fact, no, we'll have two pushing at the back. Yeah, okay. Two locomotives pushing. There we go. And uh, I guess... I guess two locomotives pulling? I, yeah, sure, why not? Here we go. Oh, three. Let's go with three. That seems like a really good idea. Uh, turn that around. There we go. Yes. Okay, yeah, I like that. I like that. Let's rotate that one around. Yeah, I like this a lot. All right, cool. We got our frantic lines. Whole locomotive and train ready to go. Cab lights. Yeah, let's go. It's a really long train too. I like it. Nice. Awesome. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to head back to the other room. And uh, actually, one of the things that I noticed was this in here. Hold on. This right here, we have the mine, but we still haven't put a track in. I think it would be really cool if we did have a track coming into here um, to make it look a little bit nicer, I guess. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and focus on that today because we might as well. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and get some sort of... There we go. Is this a straight line? This is a straight line. All right, cool. We're going to have like another bridge coming out of here, I guess. Um, maybe not actually, I don't really know. Uh, we'll put that there, and we'll have this. Oh, we should really move that though. Maybe we can move this to the side slightly. 
All right, hold on. Move it to the slides. Slide slightly. Like there. Yeah. All right. Good. That's good. All right. Cool. We'll have this come into the wall. Um, and then I guess we'll have it like turn around. Uh, we need to like edit. And we need we need turny bits. Um, where's the most turny bits we've got? Over here. This one. All right. Cool. We can't actually teleport. I just keep forgetting. All right. There we go. We've teleported over. And we're going to go in here and make it turn this way. Yes. Make it turn again. Uh, yes. All right. Cool. Straight line. Uh, boop. Okay, straight line. Straight this way. Oh my Jesus. What did I just do there? I don't know what I just did. That's fine though. Uh, we're gonna go straight through there. So we could have some collisions at some point, but that's okay. Uh, and then we're gonna go straight through this piece too. Yeah, straight through here. Bam! Okay, good. I don't know where this is actually gonna come into. Um, but it, it will somewhere, uh, I guess. Yeah, oh, idea. Idea. This is gonna be a really cool idea. Maybe, possibly. Uh, we need some turny bits again. All right, cool. Grab this piece. Okay, bring it over here. Whoa. Turn right. Yes. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. All right. Turn right again. Yeah. Okay, straight line. Straight line. Why, what? Why are we underneath? Why are we underneath now? No, we can't be underneath. No, we want to be above it, please. Above. Okay, maybe that was my bad. I don't know. I guess it was. All right, cool. Grab this and put it on there. All righty. Maybe that's not a good idea. All right, cool. Hold on. Bam. Do this this way. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right, cool. Now we just get rid of, like, this piece, for example. And we go over here. And we get this piece. We bring it over here. And we press this. Bam. Okay, good. We could actually even get rid of this. And hopefully attach it all together. Uh, that would be great. All right, cool. We need this piece right here. And bring it over. Bam, attach those two together, and then hopefully... Nah, this isn't going to work, is it? I want this piece to attach to that piece, but, like, better. You know what I mean? We need that piece to attach to that piece, but better. All right, there we go. Bam. Like that. There we go. Okay, so this track actually leads all the way to this mine over here, um, which is actually pretty cool. I like that idea. That's a good one. Nice one, Maddie. Thank you. Okay, so now I guess it's time to work on this little piece over here. Uh, the problem is that this is actually going up a hill... And um, we do have trains going around it at the minute, but we're going to start demolishing it and re replacing it with this because uh, obviously um, we do have some issues with this because it's just floating in the air uh, and that's not a good thing. So let's go ahead and uh, build this all the way up. This bit's going to be like supported, but this bit isn't. Um, boop, boop, boop. All right, there like that. Why is that so like, why is that gone? Like all weird. It's gone all weird and stuff. And stuff and stuff. Nope, nope, we can't have it like that. We need it to go like normal. We need a normal piece. Like this? I guess? No, that's too high. Uh, okay, right, something like that. That's fine. Uh, we'll then grab this piece and attach those two together. That's good. Okay, cool. Um, now the problem we've got is we need it to sort of like look pretty. Um, and we don't really have anything to do that with. So maybe we grab one of these pieces and we literally just try and mash it in there. Um, I guess. You know what I mean? Mashing stuff in places is definitely not the best idea. Um, but if it works, it works. And you know what? That's not a bad point. Hold on. Uh, there, like that. There we go. That's actually not that bad. Now we can just, like, shove rocks and stuff underneath it, and it'll actually look all right, I guess. Uh, so let's go ahead and just mash some rocks in there. There we go. Bam. Some rocks. Some big old rocks coming in. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, good. Uh, we'll do the same down here as well. Um, and we'll have like a rock mountain. Yeah. Rocky mountain. Here it comes. Bam. Okay, good. So far, looking not too bad. Alrighty. We don't want it to be like too big though. Too big and bulbous. We can't have it being bulbous. There we go. Okay, good. Uh, and then I guess we can fill it in with like little rocks and stuff. So let's go ahead and make these really small. And uh, just shove them in there. Just shove them right in there. Yeah, like that. There we go. Okay, good. This is cool. This is cool. Uh, so we could leave it like that if we want to, which is not too bad. Um, which actually I'm going to. I'm going to leave it like that. You know what? We should go ahead and decorate this mountain like we've done on this side. You know, this one's really good. So we'll jump over here and we'll literally just smash a bunch of bushes. Like literally all over it. We'll cover the whole entire side of this thing. Uh, in bushes, because that seems like a great plan, Maddie. I know. All right, good. Here we go. Bam. 
Bushes everywhere. Yoo-hoo! All right, cool. I don't know whether we should do the entire thing, but still. There we go. Okay, good. It's looking real nice. Real nice. All right, good. Bam, 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 bam. This is like kind of the hill as well, so we'll go ahead and like fill that in too. All righty, awesome. And I don't want it being on the tracks, but we're very close to the tracks here. We are very close to the tracks. Uh, you know what? That looks really good. That looks really, 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 really good. I like that. All right, awesome. Um, now, I want to work on the rest of the mine. We want to sort of get this area done um, and dusted. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some of this. And we're going to basically fill in this entire area uh, with this color. All right, cool. Afterwards, we can change it to a different color. Uh, but for now, it's going to be just like this. All right, cool. Bam. Okay, good. Uh, we'll then do this area over here. So, boop. Boop, 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 ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. There we go. Okay, good. Uh, we'll then fill in this little area. Boop and boop. All right, fantastic. There we go. We got it filled in. Uh, now we literally just fill it with this stuff, uh, which is, uh, I guess, salt. So we'll go ahead and have big mountains of it. Big old mountains. Hold on. Big old mountains. Huge mountains of salt right there. Okay, we'll have like two of those. And uh, we'll have two of them attached together as well. There we go. Okay, huge mountains of salt. That's nice. I like that one. All right, cool. That actually doesn't look too bad. I like that. Uh, we do need, like, little roads going through them because I think that looks good. All right, let's go ahead and make some little roads. Uh, so they do obviously have to be a little bit taller. Um, but hopefully... Hopefully that's not too bad. Is that flying? No. That looks pretty good, actually. That looks... Pr it's like selecting the thing underneath, which is slightly annoying. Uh, we're just going to have to go get this. There we go. Okay, good. Uh, and then we're going to have to put it like this. And bam. As long as I hold on sh to shift, we should have little roads working perfectly fine through here. There we go. All right, awesome. Uh, then at the end, we'll have like a little road all the way along here. And we'll attach them together like so. That looks pretty good. I like that. I like that a lot. That's good. Um, we should really have like little roads through here as well. Um, but obviously, it might be a bit difficult to do it. I don't really know. All right, cool. And we'll have them go around the outside. Around the outside. Around the outside. Uh, in order to get to this base. This, this base. This little place over here. Um, and then we'll finish it like so. All right, good. We got like little roads going around. We got like a big old mine going on. Uh, now we just need these things. Uh, like climbing frames <laughs> um, to be put into position. So we'll have one there. We'll definitely have some like sort of, I don't know, the background like there uh, attaching to both of them. That's pretty cool. Uh, we'll then get different ones and we'll have them across the road because that actually looks insane. And we'll have little salt piles over here too. Uh, now we don't actually have any like salt hills, you know, these things. Uh, so we'll go ahead and place some of these down um, and hopefully, hopefully it doesn't look too bad. All right, cool. We'll go ahead and place those in like so. That looks pretty good. All right, awesome. Um, and then we'll continue with this stuff. Boop, 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 boop. And we'll have it, like, I guess in the background, like over here. So that it doesn't look just like random. You know what I mean? It, it, it actually looks like it's randomly placed. Um, when it's like this, you know what I mean? Uh, but so far, I'm actually loving this. It's actually looking really, really good. Um, I am going to leave it here, though. I am going to leave the video here. Um, I did really just start this video just so I could show you the, the private room or the secret room uh, And I'm gonna show you where it is now. So let's get to that Okay, so in order to get to the secret room You basically want to go to this room with the uh, the rectangular table and you want to go through the wall Okay, you want to just teleport through the wall and there she is it won't be that big when you see it uh, It will only be a tiny room, but this is because I uh, did all that editing at the beginning uh, and basically you just walk over to it and uh, here it is. This is what you get. So you can change um, all of it. You can change all of it. It's pretty cool. Uh, you do also have some drawers in here if you do want to build something. For example, you wanted to build, I don't know, a really big box. Uh, you basically just go BAM! And uh, you just build a really big box and there it is. Uh, and you can build loads of really big boxes if you want to. Uh, all over the place. So yeah, it's a really cool room. Um, but yeah, I don't know how you'd use it just yet if you don't know how to use the tables because uh, I don't I don't know how you use the tables Anyway, I'm gonna leave this video here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it If you did enjoy the video leave a like down below and maybe consider subscribing that would be awesome And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye